Hello, Keller United Methodist Church family. I'm Esty Valindi, and I'm here with Eddie Kaler. Eddie is the director of the TC Wesley Foundation, and he's an elder mm -hmm. in the United Methodist Church. Yeah. And so Eddie invited, he, you sent out an email to a lot of pastors, inviting them today's Wednesday to a conversation about reaching college and young adults. And so I came, and we had a good time. And now we're sitting in his office, and I wanted him to share just a little bit with you um, about about what he shared with with the group. So one thing that you talked about, and that we talked about at conference, was Generation Z, which is new language maybe for some. So what? Who are Generation Z? Right. So Generation Z right now, I think, captures folks from middle school up through college, mm -hmm. and even some that are just now graduated college. And they're being talked about as the loneliest generation right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not unique to them. I mean, we heard about the health study that the epidemic of loneliness for mm -hmm. all adults, mm -hmm. and yet they still have unique things about their generation and their life experience that they are. They feel isolated. They feel um, lonely, anxiety, and then mm -hmm. all of the risk factors that go along with those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what what we shared and talked about today, but I just. Every time I say it, it makes me just blown. It blows me away that even young people that don't use social media, all the things we would think that contribute to anxiety and loneliness, even the young people that don't use that, mm -hmm. they still register just as high on the certain risk factors and loneliness indicators. Yeah. It's really because we usually we scapegoat social media and say it's that it's get off that yeah. phone, yeah. right? <laughs> but it's more yeah. than that. It's kind of a characteristic of their generation. Yeah. And so you said to us in the room that that local churches need young adult ministry. So will you just reiterate that for those listening from my church? Right. It, it seems hard because sometimes we feel like well, there's only one or two young adults that we know of currently. Mm -hmm. But we're when we do that, we're not thinking or taking into consideration all the young adults we don't know currently mm -hmm. uh, that are in your area or in your community um, that might need a place or really benefit from a faith community. Mm -hmm. um, I text, so mm -hmm. we have we have students that graduate from Wesley and TCU's um, made up of students that come from across the country. A lot of times they land into other pockets of Texas or even out of state. And I will text them a couple times every year just checking in and asking like how I can pray for them. And a lot of times I'll ask, have you found a church? Yeah. Have you found a place where you can plug in and keep pursuing faith and continue to stay connected? And I don't know that I've had one yet tell me that they have found a church. And right. um, that breaks my heart right. because yeah. of the, the, the need for that and the, the isolation. And yeah, your local church needs a young adult ministry so that when TCU students graduate and move to Keller, or when Alabama students graduate and move to Keller, or you know UVA students, I mean whoever it is, they're going to land there, and mm -hmm. they still could really benefit from community. From community, right? So, just to remind you, friends at Keller Methodist Church, we don't have a college group per se, but we do have a young adult ministry. They started meeting in January. They meet on Wednesday nights at Graduate coffee in South Lake, and I heard from them this week they're starting a new study about making sense of the Bible by Adam Hamilton and there's 10 young adults who are attending that study so I'm really proud of that I'm gonna type a little bit of information in this email um, and remind you so you can share if there are young adults in your life that you want to invite them to that group um, Eddie thanks for the work that you do thank you for your ministry here um, with college students tell tell my church about just kind of your heart like your hope for for students who come through your program here. Yeah, so we, we serve students that have faith background and some that have never been to church before in their life. And our goal here is that we are working towards growing lifelong disciples. Yeah. This is not something that you just did in college or you had a, a good experience one time, but that this is something that you encountered. You encountered the risen Christ mm -hmm. and and made a commitment and God made a commitment back to you that this is lifelong. And so we have different markers about, we want we want our graduates to be able to talk about the difference Jesus made in their life. And mm -hmm. they do they have a trust with scripture and can they go there in times of need? Do they know how to pray and ask God for help? Mm -hmm. um, and do they have that desire that when they graduate, they could show up at a place like Keller, right. uh, UMC and find community and desire that. 
Yeah. Find community and then contribute. I mean, yep. you're, you're growing leaders. They're growing disciples. And so we are proud of you and we're grateful for United Methodist Connection um, that puts us in connection with the Wesley and vice versa. And they have opportunities to for us to serve here. Maybe we're gonna do a meal for y'all in the fall. And yeah. so if you're interested in helping me bring food to the Wesley, um, let me know and I'll put some dates out later. So thank you, Eddie, for this time. Thank you for your leadership. Thank y'all. God thank bless you. you. <laughs> okay, bye friends. <laughs>